All right, so I want to talk about this because it, it caught my eye early this morning and the hypocrisy is pretty thick. People are being completely hypocritical, at least when it comes to Disney Star Wars fans and having seeing their interactions with uh, Star Wars Theory, who was trending early this morning, and we'll get into why he was trending. And also, too, I want to compare it to the official Star Wars Twitter account and how that official account, a, account that that's run by Lucasfilm Disney, a multi-billion dollar company, and how they interact with people that disagree with them. It's very funny to see how hypocritical the Star Wars fan base is because they are completely okay with a billion dollar franchise and how they treat somebody that disagrees with them. And then over here, when it comes to a content creator that's been making content, Star Wars content, for years, has millions of followers, has thousands of views, thousands of videos, and seeing how he interacts with with people that disagree with him or just at this point just you know just speaking what his opinion is on the franchise on Disney Star Wars and George Lucas Star Wars and how he sees the comparisons and seeing exactly where he thinks at it's very funny to see how, what the interaction is and the hypocrisy between the two. So let's get into it. I don't want to talk I just want to talk about it and give you guys my opinion about it. Now I'll just go and say this right 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 now. The Star Wars fan base, or sorry, sorry, Star Wars theory does not need me defending him by any means. He's a grown ass adult, just like I am. I just want to talk about it and just kind of give you guys my perspective, my point of view on why I just think this whole interaction, this whole thing with vilifying Star Wars theory and then being completely okay with how the Star Wars official Twitter account, uh, apparently, when it comes to Star Wars Disney, they are completely okay with the official Star Wars Twitter account but not okay with Star Wars Theory. It's so odd. I, I just, I can't understand it at all. So let's get into it. So this morning, Star Wars Theory was trending. Now, the reason why he was trending is because this tweet um, from uh, earlier, uh, I think it was yesterday. It was 22 hours ago by, by the time I'm making this video. And it says, I'm tired of people crapping on me and, and my subs for years. Most of you are, are some of the most caring and loving people on the net. I'm done sitting silent while people are taking the pee out of us. Why? Because we have opinions, because we care about Star Wars. Nah, fam, I'm done ignoring it. Now, what was the reason why he made this? Made this? Uh, it was a pretty much a retweet. It was because of this uh, Twitter account. It says, no way this guy is saying the sequel trilogy fans are toxic. Y'all are crapping on those movies more than you crap on your own toilet. Uh, for F's sake, um, playing the victim at its finest. Now, this, <laughs> the retweets on retweets, um, it's coming from Star Wars Series again, saying my fan base, uh, my fan base isn't toxic. Toxic people are toxic. The majority of my fans um, like the same stuff that I do. Um, it's a sequel lovers who hate uh, on me for having an opinion, a different opinion than them. I'd say they're they're the toxic ones to me and my fan base. Thanks, though. Now, the reason why I think once somebody brought it up was the reason why he has fans in quotation marks is because he's like he just says, I'm a dude. I don't really think of being fan, you know, having fans or anything. I'm just like a guy that creates content. Now, I, I get that. I get that way of thinking. I totally understand it. As somebody that creates content, I'm just a regular guy. If you like my stuff, you know, more power to if you dislike my stuff. Eh, you know what? It is what it is. But um yeah I, you know what I, I kind of agree with him because it, it's very interesting to see the different th interactions that star wars series has, has gotten now for somebody that does not like I, i'm not a huge fan of, of the sequel trilogies i can agree with star wars theory that I, i'm not a huge fan of the sequels i think disney star wars has been butchered uh yeah i think the star wars fan fr franchise has been butchered under disney besides maybe like the bad batch and rebels i do enjoy especially watching it with my kids but I'm just not a huge fan of the sequels. I, I think they were done terribly. I think Finn's character was done awful. Uh, just absolutely terrible on what they did to his character and whatnot. Ray, they could have done, you know, better. The overall... Uh, the sequel trilogy could have done better. And I think that's where Star Wars Siri kind of sits at. But um, the funny thing is, is that Star Wars Siri does get a lot of toxicity when it comes to this fan base of Disney Star Wars that just will defend the sequels to hell or high water and the funny thing is is that uh, for me yeah there's things that i like about the sequel trilogy but overall i'm just not a huge fan of them and you can critique them here and there but there is a particular part of the sequel trilogy fan base that th th the sequels could have done no wrong like they, they are just above and beyond defending them and just not taking a step back going yeah you know what this could be a critical here and there yeah you know i'm not a huge fan of that blah 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 but it could still like the movies this for some reason there's just this part of this fan base that just just will defend him no matter what with no critiques whatsoever now apparently the reason why that a lot of people are, are upset with star wars theory is because because he makes star wars content 
and he does not like the sequel trilogy they think that because of that he's just he's not you know a, a true content creator he, he just is at the absolute most evil person in the world how dare you you know make star wars content out here and not not like uh the sequel trilogy and it's like no he's a guy he, even star wars series is you know kind of point this out is that He's just a guy, man. He, there, there are things that he likes, he dislikes, and he's going to talk about them, especially when it comes to Star Wars, something that he's very passionate about. He's not going to be passionate about everything, but him as an individual, you can watch his content, like it or dislike it, whatever it might be, he's given his opinion. Yes, his, his name is under Star Wars Siri, but I'll tell you this, man. There's tons of Star Wars content creators out there that are not like Star Wars Theory that absolutely love the sequel trilogy. You can watch those. But I think because he has probably the biggest following when it comes to YouTube and as well as on uh, Twitter, he is getting a lot of heat because he's just a person. He is just a guy giving his opinion about uh, where he sees Star Wars, especially when it falls under Disney Star Wars and what Disney has done with it. Now, this interaction it also goes into this tweet right right here. This has come from uh, this is that, that Star Wars girl. And this the funny thing is, is about this person tweeted this, uh, you know, this message, this tweet. Uh, but I can't even see it now because I think what happened is this person tweeted it, got a lot of backlash from it, uh, and apparently blocked a lot of uh, content creators out there that are on Twitter that I follow. And I think because I follow those content creators on Twitter, I can't see certain things. I'm assuming that's why I can't see this tweet, but somebody took a screenshot of it and it goes with saying Star Wars Theory has hundreds of toxic fans which are carelessly direct towards people and never take responsibility. Having that many followers is a big responsibility and it's in the hands of someone who proves himself to be petty and entitled as F. I don't, I, I, I truly don't agree with that. Look, just because you're a content creator and just because you have fans out there, you are not responsible whatsoever for what your fans do. Everybody is an individual. Everybody is responsible for their own actions. And it shouldn't be under one content creator to be like, oh man, because one of my, my, one of my followers did something or has an opinion about something or is toxic, that's my fault. That's, that, I, oh man, I better control my toxic fans that I know nothing about. They just watch my content and follow me it's really dumb it's really stupid to have that perspective of saying yes they are completely responsible for the people that follow them or watch their content and enjoy it it's a very ignorant way of thinking and i completely disagree with it but that's just at least one person's perspective that is a fan of the of the sequel trilogy and a fan of disney star wars now it's been actually a very crazy interaction today was seeing the hundreds uh, uh, not thousands of different interactions of seeing star wars theory on here of uh, people that just do not like him because he does not like the sequel trilogy now again you can like whatever you want to if you like the sequel trilogy there are content creators out there that you can watch and enjoy their content that like the same thing that you do just because the uh, star wars theory does not like the sequel trilogy but he does really damn good content I mean, you can go watch something else. Again, like I said, I think the reason why he's taking a lot of heat for this is because he has the biggest following on YouTube and Twitter and whatnot. That's, I think, the reason why the people are kind of going after him. But again, like I said, he is an individual creating content for Star Wars for several years now. I, I mean, I, I don't know what... He's, he's just a man. He's just a man having opinions about it. We're all human. We all have opinions about different things. We all have different perspectives on certain things. I don't understand the heat that is going towards him and the straight hypocrisy of the Star Wars fan base. Now let's get into that. All right, but like I've been saying, Star Wars theory is is a is a man, just a single dude controlling this to you know controlling his content, controlling his YouTube channel, making content on Star Wars. Just an individual. He has a huge following. He has a lot of people that like his content, but he's just one individual. Now let's get into Star Wars. The official Star Wars Twitter account uh, tweeted this on Pride, which they are trying to sell a, a comic book during Pride Month. Now, I'll say this, man. I don't care. I don't care who you love. I don't care as long as it's safe, legal, and you're not hurting anybody. I don't care where you flap your dong at. I don't care where you slap your clam at. You know what? Whatever. It's just funny to see... <laughs> Wow, the interaction is with the Star Wars fan base. But anyway, Star Wars, the official Twitter account, posted this thing, selling it for Pride Month. All right, not a big deal whatsoever. Somebody that literally just barely has a few followers said, hey, don't make Star Wars political. That was it. That was a tweet. That, that, that was it. 
Now, depending on how you agree with it or disagree with it, I really don't give a damn whatsoever about, about it, but I'm just wanting to show you guys the interaction that was falled, that fell under this, th this apparently just disagreement with the Star Wars official Twitter account. Now, Star Wars official Twitter account did tweet back at him. The, the, you're seeing what they tweeted. I I'll say this, I really don't think what they tweeted like spoke at all or was consistent with what the person tweeted, but that that's just me thinking that. But if we want to go into the different interactions within the fan bases, these are all the different twi uh, tweets at this person that just had a disagreement with the official Star Wars Twitter account. Now, again, I don't care what your opinion is on what the official Star Wars Twitter account tweeted. These are all the different interactions with that person that just had a disagreement with it. I'm just not understanding it. I'm assuming these are the same people that would defend, that would defend the, the, the sequel trilogy under Disney. Saying that Star Wars Theory, <laughs> that Star Wars Theory is toxic. But these same people are going after one individual that just had a disagreement with what Star Wars posted. And the amount of people, the barrages of people, and even the Star Wars official Twitter account, still going after the individual of the disagreement again we're human we have disagreements it's okay but the hypocrisy of how people can completely be against star wars theory for being an individual being a man and having a disagreement with how the pre how the sequel trilogy is done and the way that star wars is done at disney and having those same individuals bully somebody off of twitter because they as an individual had a disagreement with what Star Wars posted. Again, I don't care if you agree or disagree with how Star Wars what and what they posted. But I'm just saying, if we're going to be, if, if somebody's going to be holding the fire to, to the toxic fan base that Star Wars Theory has that apparently is toxic towards other parts of the Star Wars fan base, can we at least go over to this other side of seeing the different interactions that the official Star Wars Twitter account had the toxicity of their interaction with somebody that just had a disagreement with what they posted with just one single tweet whether you disagree with it or agree with it i don't care but just holding the same standard to the official star wars twitter account that we're going to be holding to star wars theory it makes absolutely no sense and i just cannot stand the hypocrisy of it one star wars theory is an individual person with his mind of his own he has his own opinion but in my uh, my opinion the official star wars twitter account is a company a multi-million billion dollar company under disney lucasfilm that honestly to me should not be having this type of interaction being uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if, i don't know if it's an interaction or whatnot but saying something against somebody that just has a disagreement with it and i would say this is not that this is pretty tame for disagreements that somebody might have with what star wars posted but then also too not calling out the fan base that disney has built up over the sequel or sequel trilogies that said all this stuff to one individual that disagreed with it if we're gonna hold star wars theory accountable for apparently the toxic fan base that he has in the room but then not hold the accountability to this official Star Wars Twitter account, a billion dollar company, billion dollar franchise, and we're not going to hold their feet to the fire the same way that Star Wars Theory is? That'd make a whole lot of sense. Anyway, just wanted to point that out to you guys. To me, I thought it was ridiculous. I think it's so stupid how there's a part of apparently Disney Star Wars fans that will have a disagreement with somebody that creates independent content over Star Wars, over the franchise, expanded universe, what's canon now, but won't have that same accountability when it comes to Star Wars, the official Twitter account, and Disney and Lucasfilm, and whoever controls that. That's a company. That is, that is Their interaction with people on Twitter should be where, hey, we're wanting to promote our product, not going after individuals and having a, you know, a, a, a slap back or a clap back at somebody just because they have a disagreement with what, what they're posting. That's not the way a company should run. Star Wars Theory, he's different, man. It's an individual, all right? He's not a multi-billion dollar franchise or a company, okay? He's just one individual. The interaction, the hypocrisy just knows no bounds, apparently, when it comes to Twitter. But my God, it's about the dumbest rabbit hole I've ever jumped down to see how different the interaction is when it comes to how people are apparently upset with Star Wars Theory 
but not a, not upset whatsoever with the official Star Wars Twitter account. Anyway, wanted to get that out here. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about this whole drama, this whole goofy stuff that happened on Twitter this morning? I'd love to get your guys' opinion on it. So let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please have a great rest of the day. Look forward to talking to you guys all next time. <laughs>